Okay, we're on. You probably can't see me very well because I'm on my Porsche. I'm going to show you something I made and then I'm going to tell you how I made it. Since I kind of forgot to record the video for it, but it's not really hard to make. Okay, so I'm turning the camera on it. And I'm taking off some stuff I added to it. Anyways, so we're going to talk about this here, which is a tray. These are crystal rocks. If you can, I'm trying to get them in the camera. Okay, there you go. Crystal rocks. They got some little diamond ones in there, and these little like this, and some little flat ones like that. They're just from Dollar Tree, Dollar General, whatever. And this is a flower pot, another flower pot, and there's two of them. Let's see if I can get far enough back that you see. Okay, there's flowers here. This is a shepherd's hook. And I put this on it, as you can see, and then I put this lovely little thing in front of it. Anyways, there's that, yeah. Dollar General. Also Dollar General. <laughs> Let me get it all back where it should be so you can see it the way it should look. Okay, so there it is, and it's windy out here, so it's blowing. But I'm going to tell you about how I made that. Okay. So now I'm going to walk back in my house with my camera. Tell you about that. Alright, so I took that little bottom tray thing. They have the little um, crystals in it. These things. And I glued it with E6000. E600. Yeah, E600 glue. I glued the flower pot which was that bottom flower pot. Let's go back outside so I can show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so I took this lovely little tray here, this bottom tray. It's just a tray. I bought this stuff at Walmart. So I take this tray that I bought over in um, garden, the garden department. No, I'm sorry. That came from Housewares. Okay, so I took that tray I glued this bottom flower pot, which is this one right here with my hands on. And these flower pots are the same size. You can choose what size you want. I glued this bottom flower pot to this tray. Okay, and then I also put little wood pieces in there and it's drilled in. You can see the little hole there from the drill thing. It's drilled in. And then I took this one, the bottom one, I took the top one and I glued it with E6000, E600, I think it's E6000 glue. No, I think it's E600 glue. I glued this top pot onto this bottom pot, so it's glued on there. Okay, I take the shepherd's hook, and inside there is flower foam. I take the flower foam, and it's just a circle flower foam. It fits right into the pot to about this level where this little curve is. I take this pot, I put that foam thing in it, after I put the foam thing in it, I designed my flowers in it, and I have these purples. These whites were extras because I didn't buy enough flowers. I got these blues. I got two of these pinks. I got like five of the whites for these blues. Okay, so you're going to need more than that if you get this size of pot. can't even tell you what size the pot is. It's the medium size. You can buy all this stuff at Dollar Tree as well as Dollar General. Dollar Tree will save you a lot of money. Anyways, I glued all that in there, then I stuck the flowers through the flower foam to make that look like that. I stuck the shepherd's hook in there, and the shepherd's hook's down in this bottom. In this bottom one is also sand for weight, so it doesn't blow away in the wind because it's windy where I live. Anyway, so that's how that is made. Um, but it's just a porch decoration for spring slash summer. I got a couple other ones I'm going to make to put on my porch once those are made. Um, well, I will record those when I make them because it's going to be a while before I can make them because I'm going to go buy the stuff for them at Dollar Tree. And I will record it as I make them. That's all I'm going to say about this. If you have any questions, leave comments and I will answer you back as soon as possible. Thank you all. Have a great day.